belong to a young man from Pennsylvania who calls himself Astonishing Neil. Every morning, Neil likes to get in shape by going for a short walk, walking on broken glass. You can see why he doesn't go for long walks. What he's getting in shape is not his body, but his mind. And what he can do with his mind is why they call him Astonishing. Now, if you think walking a few feet like this with bare feet is some kind of feat, you should see how he drives, because I couldn't. Neil puts on a black hood after having covered his eyes with clay and a blindfold and drives a car in a totally unfamiliar town using a map he's never laid eyes on. I can actually sense things, almost see them with my hands. And I'm getting visual pictures and I'm also getting visual types of information from, from this piece of paper. I have never really done anything this difficult trying to find my way along. Do we have insurance of any sort? I hope we get a big life insurance policy here. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate, Skip, on a church. A church? I can't believe this. Now, you have never been here. This is for real. This is St. David's Church. There is a church. Would yes. it be to the left? Yes. I don't believe this. This is incredible. I want to cross a stone bridge. Believe it or not, we are right now crossing a small stone bridge. There is a stone bridge? Right here. Absolutely incredible. Astonishing Neil's psychic abilities, his ability to withstand pain, and his ability to drive blindfolded has baffled many scientists. Sometimes his talents even astonish Astonishing Neil. I asked him when he discovered he had them. I guess I was probably about five years old. I would tell my mother who was knocking at the door, who was calling on the telephone. I can remember telling my mother names of people that she had never even remembered telling me up to that point in my life. I believe that you can verify for me that we have gone through the entire maze. Okay, let me take a look. And that we are somehow ending through a park entrance. After successfully driving everywhere outlined on the map, Neil decided to show me how well he could drive without a map. I think I should have had a blindfold for this too. If you think I was crazy for staying inside the car with Neil, what about some of his friends who were outside? Is there something else I could do? 